Hi everyone, welcome to the video tutorial of the course CS404 Embedded Systems. In this video, we will be learning about a topic in module 2 which is computational models in embedded design. Under this topic, we are going to learn about state machine model. State machine model is a model which is used for modeling reactive or event driven embedded systems whose processing behavior are dependent on state transition. The behavior of such systems changes when the system moves from one state to another and the systems which are used in control and industrial applications are examples of event driven system. There are four attributes which are used to describe the system behavior in a state machine model. The attributes are states, events, actions and transition. State is a representation of a current situation. An event is an attribute which is used as an input to the state. It also acts as a stimuli for state transition. Transition is a movement from one state to another. Action is an activity to be performed by the state machine. Now let us see an example of a state machine. Here we are considering the example of tea or coffee vending machine. Before explaining the state machine model of tea or coffee vending machine, let us see how a tea or coffee vending machine works. Initially, the tea or coffee vending machine waits for a user to insert a coin. Once the insert, inserting coin action is completed, now the machine displays the preferences for the user. The user can either input tea or coffee as his preference. Once the user inputs his or her pref preference, the machine dispenses tea or coffee according to the user's input. Now it again waits for another user to insert coin and the process continues. This is the functioning or the working of a tea or coffee vending machine. Now let us see the state machine model of a tea or coffee vending machine. Here we are using four states. The state A is wait for coin, state B is wait for user input, state C is dispense tea, state D is dispense coffee. As we have seen, state is a representation of a current situation. Initially, the machine will be in state A where the machine or the system is waiting for a coin. Once the user inputs a, inserts a coin, it moves to state B. Here the event is inserting coin and the transition happens when the, when the system insert a coin, it moves from state A to B, state B. So this is the transition happening here. As we have seen here the event is inserting coin. In, as we have seen event is a input to the state and it also acts as a stimuli to move from or transit from one state to another and here the action is ok which is the activity performed by the system. Now once the user inserts the coin and the action is completed it moves to state B. Now consider the there are some errors or due to some faults the action was not or the event was not completed then there is an event cancel button where the action is coin is given out to the user and this is this the transition here is from state B to state A and once the system is in state B which is waiting for user input the user can input his or her preference the event can either be T button press or the event can be coffee button press and the action is dispensing tea or dispensing coffee accordingly. Now the state C and state D are dispense tea or dispense coffee which are the current situation at that time. Now once the user gets or uh, receives the tea or coffee now it is a turn of the next user to wait for or to insert the coin and this is happening in a tea or coffee vending machine and this is the state diagram for the system. Now there is another topic which comes under state machine model which is finite state machine model. Finite state machine model is a model which in which the number of states are finite. It is a mathematical model of computation used to design both computer programs and sequential logic circuits. 
It is conceived as an abstract machine that can be in one of a finite number of states. Machine is in only one state at a time. The state it is in at any given time is called the current state. Now in this video we have learned about a state machine model and we have also seen an example of a tea or coffee vending machine for the model and also we have seen a brief introduction about finite state machine model. Hope this video is useful. Thank you.